Welcome to another episode of Star Mountain Outdoors and Bushcraft. I'm John, I'll be your host, and today we're taking a fall color backpack trip for three days, two nights in the Pecos wilderness. Come join me. Tinder. Look at these two snacks. Look how rotten they are. And can you see how they're blowing back and forth in the wind? I would not want to camp anywhere near those guys. Speaking of snags, look at this guy. I've got to walk right by him right now because he's right next to the trail. Always keep looking up in the high winds. Here's a paw print of something. It rained so hard yesterday that it's got to be fairly fresh within 24 hours. Forgive the wind noise right now. I just wanted to show you this little meadow. This is one of the few places you can camp around these parts with oak firewood. Pretty sweet. I stayed here for my uh, Bushcraft in the Rockies video. Rose hips. Now well, let's try these out. They're packed, packed with vitamin C. Mmm. They practically taste like oranges. Delicious. Mmm. Rose hips. Alright, I found a, a sheltered spot under a huge Douglas fir tree with some nice big roots to sit on. So I decided to take a trailside snack break and get back some energy that I've burned off on the hike so far. Just relax.
and that's where I started from. Right down there. Here I am, I'm almost to the top now. And uh, it's been about three and a half miles and close to a 2,000 foot elevation gain. Um, I'm going from 8,000 feet at the trailhead to 10,000 feet on top of the ridge. And uh, wow, I'm glad I took this trail because these fall colors are spectacular. So now I'm doing what my wife calls riding my horse because it uh, <laughs> on the last video I shot it was so up and down that it looked like I was riding my horse but uh, anyway that's for you sweetie anyway wow this is just beautiful and I hope it's just as beautiful up on top where I plan to camp and I hope I still have uh, the parts to set up my bushcraft camp. Last time it only took me about an hour to set it up because all the parts were there. Um, so we'll see how it goes and uh, I hope you're enjoying this hike as much as I am so far. I am now making the final climb into the meadow complex um, that I camp in. So here I go, let's hope it's not too windy, although I've heard a couple of pretty good gusts that sound like a train roaring down the tracks, so we'll see. But man, is this background pretty. Look at the aspens back there. Ah, just beautiful. A little steep as you can see, but uh, beautiful. We'll see how my hidden meadow is doing. Okay, here I am at my secret meadow. And this is where I'm going to camp. Unfortunately, most of the aspen trees up here are already past their prime. Some of them are kind of pretty. But uh, it's still beautiful, so I might as well make the best of it. Camp where I have the resources. Oh, where is it? Looks like I left no trace. Is it over here? Is it over there? There's a lot of stuff over there. No, it's right here. Where is the camp? Where is the camp? Where is... Oh, it's right here. There's my bed materials. Some other logs I was using for it. That was my fire pit. And these logs were my uh, fire reflector. But I think what I'm gonna do is move them more into the middle of the meadow to get out from under some of these dead trees and stuff. Um, looks like some of them died recently. Um, and that way I'll be safer. So there's my backpack. There's a rock out in the middle. I think that's where I'm going to make my camp. And there the grass is shortest too. And will be easiest to dig up and whatnot. So uh, let's get to work. Okay, I've got the raised bed set up. It's been about an hour and a half. It took a while to drag things over from the old campsite. Okay, tripod and ridge pole in place. Okay, as you can see, I got a fire going. 
I ended up just getting hammock and tarp set up. Oh, it looks like the stake blew out again. I am having a lot of issues with this wind today. It's blown over my tripod twice. It blew over my shelter I was trying to build. So that's why I did the hammock backup. But man, it's been crazy. It's six o'clock and the sun's starting to go down behind the mountains now. Sunset's about 6.30. I don't know how much of a sunset time we're gonna get, but we'll see. There's no clouds to really amplify it. Anyway, that's what's going on here. Later I found out that one of the trees across the way there snapped a little bit and there were wood splinters sticking out the side. Hopefully I'm far enough away. And there goes the sun. Oh, let's pan back behind us. These trees are pretty. Beautiful. Despite the wind, I feel like singing a campfire song. So, uh, here it goes. When I was a young man, I walked in the Trinity. I wandered for miles and miles to see what I could see. I found lakes, meadows, and mountaintops far as my eyes could see in the trinity in the trinity it's my destiny to be in the trinity and now i'm a little bit older and i want a place of my own and so i'm heading back to the Trinity to call that place my home in the Trinity in the Trinity it's my destiny to be in the Trinity the Trinity mountains Trinity Alps it's not Colorado, but it's high country to me. And the Trinity Mountains, Trinity Alps. It's not Colorado, but it's where I want to be. Thank you.